Having won the toss, the RAF opted to field first, so twins Connie and Georgie Kant opened the batting for the Army. It was soon double trouble for the Air Force, with both Kants at the crease as the boundaries began to flow. Team captain Connie was soon in her stride, punishing any wayward bowling from the light blues. Meanwhile, at the other end, sister Georgie wasn't to be outdone, bludgeoning the ball to the rope. The home side easily bossed the opening spell of the contest, aided by some fumbles in the field. Gina Whitchurch failing to hold this catch. The drops in the deep would prove costly for the air women. Mariam Akram saw this chance escape her grasp as the army closed in on 100 without loss. Both army openers had notched up their half centuries by the time the Air Force made the breakthrough. Whitchurch making amends with her earlier spill to cling on to a boundary bound ball. The first wicket down with the score 158 for one. Wonder Woman Whitchurch was doing all she could to stem the flow of runs. She worked tirelessly in the field, hoping to prevent the batting side from making a mammoth total. Respite for the RAF arrived in the form of a timely downpour, so with the covers coming on, the umpires and the teams made a dash for the pavilion. Once play had resumed, it began to rain runs again. The experienced Amanda Potgeiter raced her way to 50, thanks at times to some unfortunate fielding. The Air Force did claim a couple more wickets prior to the Army innings concluding, but not before the home side had broken several run records. With virtually her last ball, Georgina Kant was out, caught behind, but only after amassing 181, a new women's inter-services record, and helping her team accumulate the tournament's highest ever total of 448 for four. A fantastic effort with the bat, and a player of the match display. The air women's faint hopes of getting close to the target ebbed away early on in their reply. Olivia Kadek Trimmer kept her eye on the ball to help see off Felicity Hunter from Potgeiter's bowling with just two runs on the board. A steady stream of falling wickets followed. Potgeiter claimed her second victim soon after. Liz Paulson needed two attempts before holding on to take the catch and dismiss Amy Jepson. Potgeiter kept up the pressure as the air women continue to wilt. Victoria Gledhall hearing the death rattle behind her with the score 19 for three. Paulson saw Potgeiter return the favor and take a smart catch as Ellie Day saw her short stint in the middle come to an end. The familiar theme of dismissals concluded with Mel Vaggers wrapping things up. She bowled Whitchurch as the Air Force were all out for just 36, their lowest ever total against the Army. The 2021 inter-service winners, the Army. So a comprehensive 412-run victory for the Army and with the T20 title already secure, the women in red can celebrate doing the double this summer. Julian Evans, Forces News, Aldershot. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more great videos like this.